director Giga has been constantly saying, will this new anime genre, which I think is the regression types from webtoons, Korean webtoons, right? Replace Isekai series. Reminds me of the genre I recently got into. Not, a, not a game, but mm -hmm. uh, I recently made a video about this, about how like, oh, I've, I've given nice up on Isekai. Spoiler, yeah. I haven't given up on Isekai. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the holy trinity is this. Right now, we are, there's so much Isekai that comes out. Some good mostly bad but they're still fun to watch but then if you get the webtoon regression stuff into the mix there is so much more content to be had and then we're not even thinking about what's beyond that right giga even hinted it chinese cultivation manhua i, I was like what happened what yeah, yeah, so yeah. yeah yeah i haven't completely given up but okay. uh i've been getting into webtoons and webcomics recently okay. um and I don't really know why, <laughs> because because you ran out of fucking shonen content and used to kind of watch a manga. Back in the day, I remember when I used to read all just like manga stuff, right? At, at, at a certain point, you kind of tap out of all the stuff that you're you're so used to, and you try to find similar ones, but you're out. But then you discover this new thing called webtoons, and it's just like an expansion. The world building just like ex explodes, and you're like, what? There's a whole different set of stories like that here. Because a lot of them are definitely not as good as manga is. Yeah. They, it's it's. Have you guys ever read any web comics at all? Nope. Any webtoons? Uh, I've read oh, like solo leveling, Tower of like popular. God? Power of God. That's yeah. right. I've I've read a bunch of God of High School. Recently, was that thing? There was the uh, what's it called? Ah, the the Returners Magic supposedly special or something. That one did I think pretty bad because of a lack of advertisement. But then there's also new hints at what is it omniscient writer or some shit there, there, there's like an omniscient something that's getting really hyped up saying yo you enjoy solo leveling this is gonna hit viral hit listen we're covering viral hit right now i'm personally enjoying it but i don't think a lot of people on the youtube anime reactions i really enjoy it, but still good of like manwas and like yeah a couple of like japanese web comics and stuff yeah but yeah so I <sighs> So I didn't, I didn't realize this, um, but basically, you know, so Japan has manga. Yeah. Uh, Korea. Korea has webtoons. Manhwa. I like to just call it webtoons. Manhwa is correct. I, I wonder what precedes the other. I think that all webtoons are manhwa, but not all manhwa are webtoons. Webtoons is just like scrolling. You go on the website, it's all color. It's like vertical scrolling, easy to see. That's why I just call it webtoons because that's what I'm kind of used to. And China has manhua, right? The difference between Korea and China, they both sound like manhua, manhua. Basically, M-A-N is the same. H-W-A for Korean. H-U-A for China. I think that's what the difference is. And they all have like their equivalent of, let's say, the isekai genre, yes. which is <laughs> regression. No matter what country, no matter you know, no there, matter there what will always you be. Are, I'm a gamer. Yeah, yeah, there will always be a way to throw some shitty power fantasy, yeah. Yeah. like kind of like bullshit. And they and uh, every different country has its own genre. So I think that's a good thing, to be honest. And I think we need more nations to rise up and have their own shitty, you know, power fantasy variations in play because as much as we we call it shitty, you know, power fantasies. I still enjoy them. Sometimes you don't need to always just eat gourmet food. I love my shitty 7-Eleven pizza in a parking lot at 3 in the morning. In Korea, a genre, uh, Korean webcomics, the genre that is massive is uh, this genre called regression. Yeah. Which is Going basically a time. roguelike. So the entire genre oh. is all about some guy. Multiple isekais. Huh? Yeah. Multiple yeah, isekais. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some guy, some guy <laughs> does something. Motherfuckers when one, one reincarnation isn't enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. So one guy does something, he dies or something happens, and then he travels back in time. Regressed. He travels back in time to an earlier point in his life with all of the knowledge that he has of the future. Mm. Um, and it's basically, it's basically ReZero, you know, it's, it's basically ReZero, yeah. but just imagine. I mean, I think that part a little bit has a tiny, tiny bit spoiled, but. An entire genre based around this, but just it not being as good as ReZero. The okay. 25 best level of God, 25 best regression, how to use a returner. The art, they all look pretty similar. I don't know, but like I, I'd read them, but I can't read them anymore in my free time. Cause it's like, what if it gets an anime adaptation? So I need to keep myself like blind. 
Next regression, this man. Is, Holy there shit. There is way more than 25. There's a top 25? <laughs> there is yeah, way many. more than 25. I can say, I don't think- There was one here literally called Reborn Rich, right over here. You see this shit? Number 15 is just Reborn Rich. What, you just get reborn into like an heir of like a Samsung CEO? Actually, there is something like that, right? But it's like a more like an office worker who regresses back in time and just now knows the meta to climb up the corporate ladder within Samsung and becomes like a manager and becomes like a good boss or something. There's so way many. more than 25. I can say, I don't think there are 25 good ones. <laughs> there are like- is no. there, How many good ones are there? Um, so it, it depends, right? It depends. Out of this list here, do you, do you know of any of them? Uh, my daughter is the final boss. That's good. How to be, how to use it. Okay, the problem with all of these titles is yeah. that 90, like Isekai, look at these and tell me how many of them sound like the same shit. I mean, <laughs> I, sl I mean, yeah, there's a lot of, well, the thing that I noticed, I haven't watched ReZero yet, but you notice that a lot of shows has like re-something. Remonster is airing right now. Recreator is a thing. Rezeros obviously exist. I feel like people find like a popular thing, and then because they know that, they use the association in their own titles or their art or whatever, right? I think that's a pretty smart thing to do. You take what you're doing really well, think about why it's doing well, and then try to like entice the users that would be you know pursuing that product, but you get your own product out there. You know, but with a little bit of copy, paste, and a tweak. Sleep on all of them, to be honest. <laughs> Leveling with the gods. Returning of the mad demon. F Triple F class trash I like that hero. one. I like that okay, one. I kind of want to read that one. <laughs> Triple F reborn, class trash hero. Reborn rich. What the fuck is fantasy of a stepmother? Do you see this shit? Fantasy of a stepmother is number 10. What do you, what do you, what do you mean? Are, is the main character the stepmother that's regressing? What the fuck is this, dude? Like, what? A man's man? <laughs> a man's oh! man is actually- Man's man is the Samsung one, right? The regressing into Corpa, you know, power fantasy. I just talked about Oh, I love number That's 14. Good. Returning with absolutely nothing. Uh, a man's man is good. Shosu saves the world is good. Yeah, number 14 kind of sounds interesting. Returning with absolutely nothing because it implies if every other regression show is like you going back in time with like the full knowledge and skills and stuff you've accumulated. But in this one, it's like, nah, we don't do that. This dude is going to get, you know, regressed, but he got fucking nothing. Good. Um... <laughs> Father, I, I... Yeah, let him finish. I don't want this marriage. <laughs> Father, I don't want this marriage. These titles, these titles are pretty, they're something all right. It makes me want to fucking read it. So step, stepmother's fantasy, father, I don't want this marriage, triple F class trash hero. What is the other one? Reborn as rich or something. Return of the triple S class ranker. People really love triple something letter, you know, tears, huh? I don't want this marriage. <laughs> <laughs> what are these titles? Bro. <laughs> some of these, some of these, the fantasy of a stepmother. Okay, I need yeah, to read that I'm one. Down. I want to. Oh, right. I was awake for that one. <laughs> oh god, I need to read that one. But yeah, um, it's something. I don't know. I've, I've not. I found it harder to read manga recently, just because mm. I really like reading physical volumes. Mm. But for some reason, web comics. Um, fun. Even though I think, <laughs> in general, the the level of quality is way worse uh, than what you can find in man manga. L quality, yeah, I, I, well, eh, mm. let's take One Punch Man manga, for example, right? Or some of the craziest art that you've ever seen in a manga. The details definitely shine through way more than in Webtoons. Webtoons is interesting because of the packaging. Packaging as in, it's meant to be a vertical scrolling thin strip layer. It, it's not supposed to be comprehensive panels like manga, right? So it's a lot more simplistic, but I think it gets the job done and it helps like casual readers, even people on the go, like on the bus, wherever, you can just fucking read through so nicely. It's all colored as well. Like it's like a single strip panel going down the entire time, right? Compared to a manga where it's just like, Black and white, left to right, read so much, you know, panels here and there. And yeah, yeah, it pro the quality probably is better in the art. But I feel like Webtoon knows what it's doing, trying to hit like a more casual audience that wants to read on the go or at their own leisure and their different phones and stuff like that. Uh, I feel like the ease of access 
Um, mm. Yeah, he's a, a lot better. If, exactly. if I actually have a web... yeah, reading manga is kind of tough. It's hard sometimes. <laughs> you, was that sarcastic? Honestly, manga actually is tough to read sometimes. Like, don't people get like really mad at, like Tokyo Ghoul manga? Tokyo Ghoul manga is like so fucking hard to keep track of because while the art is amazing, you don't know what the fuck is happening half the time, right? That's the common thing that I hear. Webtoon is just so simple, right? It's just so simple to understand what's going on. Colors are vibrant. The art honestly isn't even that simple. I hear like some art in Webtoons gets so crazy, like solo leveling, for example, right? The art in it, it's insane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so difficult guys no no so i mean i mean i mean it's it's about it's about the feeling it's about the feeling okay okay it's, it's about the oh, feeling sorry, sorry you know. no one uh medical return that's that's pretty good as well these look like fanfics yeah i'm not i wouldn't be surprised Maybe. if a lot of them did start off as yeah. fan fictions no i actually have one that i do genuinely recommend though uh, um, man's man is this one called omniscient readers viewpoint that's the one this is the one that People are hyping up saying, this is the solo leveling killer. No, it's not the solo leveling killer. Maybe there's some similarities. Maybe there isn't. People just say that shit because, you know, gets the people mad and it was something popular, right? You take something popular and you say, is X the popular thing killer? And then everyone gets mad and starts engaging and the algorithm goes up. But omniscient reader's viewpoint. Has it been announced, guys? Kim Tokja? Is that... Tokja literally means like author or novelist, by the way, in Korean, like like writer, author. Is this coming out anytime soon? Has there been any announcements from the anime studios? I'm not sure. Which I think could have the potential to be like, if it gets an anime adaptation, it has the mm. potential to be- <laughs> Nabi's struggling to spell omniscient. <laughs> <laughs> it's, okay, it's okay, Nabi. But, um, it's yeah. okay, it's okay. It took me ages to like, how do I, how do I pronounce- I think it's omniscient. Omniscient, okay. omniscient, omniscient. O-M-N-I-S-C-I-E-N-T. Viewer's read point. Cient. There you go, readers viewpoint, there it is. Yeah, problem is this looks, uh, every, from the cover, all of these web comics look generic Yeah, they all look yeah, so yeah, yeah, they really do. This one they look generic because I think they're all trying to copy the same art meta that is popular. I don't know what happened, but you notice that even in anime, right? How many fucking isekai characters all look the fucking same, bro? black haired same facial structure right the designs they all pretty much look the same why because again you take something that's popular that resonates with an existing audience and then you attract them with your own copy paste with a little bit of customization so i think this is intentional yeah they all look yeah so yeah, yeah they really do this one this one's basically free in webtoon so it's it's an it's an easy easy read let's, let's read the synopsis of this doctor right. was an average office worker whose sole interact interest was reading his favorite web novel Three ways to survive the apocalypse. Okay. They wrote a web novel inside a web novel? Okay. Yeah. This is web novel inception. These webtoon characters are reading webtoons. Well, web novels is different. It's more like um a web comic. Like One Punch Man web comic is that has art, right? But <clears throat> it's 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 different from a web novel. Isn't like ReZero like an actual web novel where it's just like a literal just dialogue, just letters, just essays no pictures and then you have what a web comic or a light novel which then translates the text into a little bit more condensed form with the art and then the manga and then the anime right that's how that works right yeah but when the novel suddenly becomes reality he is the only person who knows how the world will end really? armed with this realization doctor uses his understanding to change the course of the story and the world as he knows it wow. this is regression so he knows about how the world will end because of the book that he reads. And then the book becomes reality. Is this an isekai? Hold the fuck up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If an isekai is a different other world, and if the world that he lives in suddenly gets changed into a different world, are you not isekai How does that work? The novel suddenly becomes reality. Sounds like it's another world. I'm not sure how that happens, but that's pretty cool that he like, knows of all the potential threats that could happen i'm sure it's gonna get a little bit boring if you know he just understands all the fucking meta and just counters things maybe the power fantasy is like that maybe they're gonna do something along the lines of oh even though the events are same as the book it's a bit different which throws the guy off to kind of anticipate oh shit 
I thought this was what's going to happen in this chapter of the book, but something else happened. It's, it's got to be something like that, right? Doctor uses his understanding to change the course of the story and the world as he knows it. Wow. <laughs> Bro, it's that's so that's, good. Yeah, that's it's not so that, that, good. That, that synopsis just yeah, that no, synopsis does down. not do justice. Then. <laughs> all right, let, 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 let me let me let me give you a better okay, synopsis. Right, go on, this. Let gone, me be a bit of All right, this guy. All right, Chad. Huh? Chad? No, uh, not actual, Chad. Actual, actual Chad. Is it Chad? Okay, I thought they do. I don't know. They usually want the main character in the beginning to be like a fucking pussy to like I don't know. Relate to the demographic they're trying to pander to and then make him into a giga chat later, right? Yeah, it's like a chat. In from the beginning? Uh, he, he's, okay. the, he's the guy on the left. Okay. Um, but Wh who's the guy on the right? The guy on the left? I mean, they both look pretty good, but the guy on the right, I think, was the cover picture of the physical volume that they showed earlier. That guy looked like a fucking giga chat. But basically, he is committed to reading this shitty ass fucking web novel. <laughs> Okay. Uh, that is like the fucking filthiest trash that uh, he gets to chapter 3000, I believe. <laughs> Dude, that's like okay. you. No wonder you like this show. I'm like, yo. 3000 chapters of reading a web novel. Bro must be the biggest fucking fan. He must be solo supporting the author. Oh, he just like me for real. What the heck? No wonder <laughs> he, you like this he, shit. He, he just like me for real, man. Um, But then he's the only one who reads it up to the end. And as soon as he gets to the end point, it turns out that everything that happens in this web novel which is kind of like a death game okay starts happening starts to happen in reality and he's the only one that and finished he's given it. one ability and that's the ability to <laughs> that's that's having this web novel on his phone and he can read it really <laughs> so anytime some shit goes down he's gotta fucking flip his phone out oh shit which chapter was it oh no i have three thousand chapters is this chapter 1217 is this chapter 803 what's going on and you gotta oh, oh there it is there it is okay so this is what happens this time guys and this is how we're going to escape the death game okay fast so basically he has every he has all of the knowledge of what God, is, you're not selling me on this <laughs> he has all of knowledge he has, he has all of knowledge of what okay. is going to happen uh, his phone. What is going to happen in this death game? In his where? So, this death game. so what? Okay. What if he loses the phone? What if he fucking? Maybe he's memorized the entire plot of three thousand chapters. But even the most devoted One Piece enjoyers, right? Even like Tech King, like one hundred and one. Do you think that he could just recite everything that happened in the One Piece? He probably could actually. Now that I think about it, but. Damn, like, what if you lose the fucking, you know, phone or something? You're like, oh, I forgot what happened in this story. Sorry, this part of the arc was kind of mid. I, I just skipped it. If you say it's going to be good, I, I actually trust you. But the way you're describing yeah. it, it makes it sound What boring. I'm hearing is this is just Mirai Nikki, but a web novel. Future Diaries. <laughs> Haven't seen that yet. Mirai Nikki. Is that a death game? Oh, yes. Yeah, that is a death yeah. game. It's Mirai Nikki where they can read into the future. I'd, I'd say I'd say it's more like Squid Game, if anything. Where Squid Game? The thing that makes Come this... On, Joe, it's Korean. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's, oh, it's Korean. It's Korean, Joe. It's, it's Korean. Squid Game. Sorry. It's Squid Game, but... The thing that makes squid it like squid like. It's, 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 okay, yes, it is a squid like. <laughs> it's a. This is a squid like. Ain't no way they're making a joke about roguelikes and now they're calling it squid likes because this is a Korean content. A squid game is fucking Korean. Like story. Okay, squid where, like story. Got um, yeah. the thing that makes it stand. This gotta be racist. Nah. nah. Is this is one of the most meta okay. pieces of media I've like okay. ever read, ever read in my life. Okay. So That's what happens? Cool is that he actually meets the protagonist of the story. <laughs> Tokta is not the protagonist of the story, because obviously he's the protagonist of his own world. But in the novel, there's a main character. That must be the guy on the right. That, mu that, that must be the guy on the right in that, in that cover, right? There's two dudes, there's two really good looking dudes on the right, right? Okay, okay. What? Yeah. Is, he, is, is he gonna like coach the protagonist on like how to beat this stuff like do we not do anything and we're like all right here's the main character and it's like all right bro here's some tips on how to beat you know this challenge i'm gonna give you everything please carry us and then we just send the sidelines and the protagonist just does everything for us <laughs> that's uh oh, that's of, of this of okay. his reading oh, yeah. and like the protagonist of this story he's a fucking dick but he's also overpowered okay. as shit mm -hmm. right so using his knowledge of the characters he has to find a way to befriend all of the characters from this story mm. in order to survive this game and kind of like take advantage of oh, that's cool. all mm. of the all of the characteristics and yeah. all the powers they have and using that knowledge and using you know being able to befriend all these characters he's able to take advantage of the systems 
in the storyline in each of the death games um in a kind of like a log horizon kind of way log so, horizon i'm aware Yo, when are we gonna watch Log Horizon, man? That's a game that I'm trying to fucking... People are probably gonna say, like, this is way better than SAO, but I'm down to watch Log Horizon if you guys are. So <laughs> <laughs> I think I think they should get you to write these fucking synopsis because, like, you did a so much better job than whatever that was. Yeah, this basically what makes it sound out is it's someone who's obviously read a lot of trashy power fantasy stuff. Right. And he's okay. like, how can I take all of these elements and just kind of like make a meta thing that not really satirizes it but just takes the parts you see the most and tries to make an interesting story out of it right right and uh this is it i i feel like this could be um, the next solo leveling guys this, this pops off harder than something like solo leveling nowadays hmm. and Maybe, ah, uh, yo, they're really hyping this shit up, but we need more advertising because Solo Leveling did like a year's worth of fucking advertisement. They had all the fucking positive PR. They, they had everybody just glazing the fucking show. But, uh, well, I, I hope it doesn't turn out like that one other webtoon, the one I mentioned before, Return is Magic Should Be Special, because I remember just looking at the numbers on like the manga subreddit of Solo Leveling and Return is Magic when they were like both pretty popular. I think it was like pretty similar, right? What, what, what? Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe it's like a very niche subreddit, so it doesn't represent the demand of a wider audience globally. But it sucks to see shows that fail despite having so much potential because they lacked marketing or advertisement. But Omniscient, I hope, does pretty well. It sounds kind of cool when you put it like that. Uh. Yeah, and uh, to me, I'm like, I, have you seen the solo leveling anime at all? Uh, no. Hell yeah, brother. Up to episode. Whatever the recap episode was, seven. Oh, yeah. You've seen, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you've seen up to episode I've seen seven. Up to episode is it good? 7. You finish oh, it? I forgot how um I, I forgot how boring the beginning of solo leveling. Yeah. Was. <laughs> <laughs> this dude was Gig was glazing the shit out of solo leveling so fucking. And, and this is probably base, but it's just funny how like you know when we're when a new thing is coming and everyone's trying to get excited, we glaze the shit out of it, right? It's like this is the new best thing, but behind the scenes, it's like. Sea Dog ain't seen that. She was like, "What the fuck is that?" Bro, in the middle is like, "I didn't even fucking finish it." Gig's like, kind of mid to be honest. Early game soul leveling. I thought episode one and two was like really good though, right? The intro hook was fucking sick. But I'm sure compared to some of the stuff that's gonna happen later, I guess building up to that point in season one was a bit boring. I don't fucking know, so I don't really know what to compare it to. But for the most part. The intro of Soul Leveling was fucking fantastic. And also the final and tail end of Soul Leveling was fantastic. The stuff in the middle, there were some ups and downs. Dark Aria playing with, you know, us taking on Kim Tesla, that was pretty sick, right? But then I guess maybe some of those, like the Demon Castle, Cerber stuff, fighting random monsters that might not be as cool as Igris or other potential threats. I could see why they think it's boring, yeah. I was, like, I've heard this, I was like, I've heard this. I was like, I've heard this manga was really fucking good. So I gave it a watch, and I'm like, when does this get good? <laughs> I think it starts to get good for memory, right? For yeah. memory, it starts to get good in season two, guys, because now you know the finale is, you know, Sung Jin Mu, you know, he got that thing. So no spoilers, but now it's gonna get really good, guys. Uh, -huh. uh it starts to. Not, I, I wouldn't even say good is good is like. Uh, oh no, good is a Ohio. Hey, do you like wakey, wakey. Sword Arts Online, but oh. more of the same, oh. you know? Hot take. I love Sword Art Online. I know that it's a shit show. But there's something so comfortable watching SAO recently. We're now, you know, finishing up season two. And yes, ALO was fucking hot dookie. Tonki arc was hot dookie. But it's still fun. It's just like a such a comfortable show to watch i don't know it might straight up like unironically sao i love that shit i know it's garbage but i love it uh, uh it starts to get good i think at the end of season one but considering oh, that uh long. considering that even like mr beast was watching solo leveling yeah. i'm like well, I'm, I, I was surprised how many people 
fun fact, random fun fact, Mr. Beast is a huge weeb. He loves anime. And the reason he even started his his um YouTube content creation in the beginning, one of the first things he decided was to count to like 10,000 or something while looking at a video, right? The Apparently, when I was looking to one of his interviews and podcasts, that idea came from him wanting to make money while watching anime. But instead of doing anime reactions, he was just watching Naruto while just counting numbers, staring at a webcam until he counted to like whatever number it was. Fun. Isn't that crazy? Well, actually watching this um, and thinking that it was good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I got People full. People are dumb. I got, oh, this is going to go on Twitter. This is going to go on Twitter. I got full <laughs> because like every single- We got to fucking clip this out of context, bro. We got to clip this out of context and say something like- Gigguk hates solo leveling? Trash tasting solo leveling is trash? Start some fucking drama. The person I know of who's like read the, the original solo leveling manhwa was mm -hmm. just hyping on about like how fucking amazing this was. Because the stuff later is super hype, but the stuff in the beginning probably not as hype and anime only is they got their bars raised to the fucking moon because of the amount of glaze that actual people that read the story did. But it turns out that the early stuff is not as exciting. Therefore, the disappointment in the anime only fans. And, I was just, and they were like t trying to sell it to it's me. You were trying to sell it to me. Same thing with One Piece. It was... One Piece fans forget how boring the start of One Piece is. Oh, right. But like... Guys, you just have to watch 500 episodes till Marineford, man. Just, just gotta watch 300 episodes till you get to Water 7. I promise it's so fucking peak, man. I thought One Piece was great from the beginning, to be honest. Straight up, when you meet Mihawk, Baratier, fuck the Arlong Park. I love Arlong Park arc. Fucking amazing. But a lot of people say that's when it gets good. Nah, it got good in Baratie, man. But One Piece has a really good plot. <laughs> Solo leveling, the webcomic, the, the reason it pops off so much was because just the art. The is, art is insane. The art is godlike. Yeah. And the during some of the action scenes, during the, some of the hype scenes, mm. it fucking pops off. And I yes. totally agree with that. And mm. I'm going to say that the fight in Windbreaker is better than Solo leveling. Maybe this is recency bias. Maybe I need to do a direct comparison. But the fight choreography that I'm seeing from Windbreaker is fucking fantastic. Solo leveling, there were great fights, but I think solo leveling had more hype from the setup. But in terms of pure choreography and fighting, I feel like Windbreaker might be on top. What it does well, it does really well. Problem is, when you take that to animation, we've had Jujutsu Kaisen season two. You know, we've had mm. Demon Slayer. We've 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 set the bar. We're having Demon Slayer right now for action scenes that pop off, and the action scenes are so low. Yeah, the bar is so high for Demon Slayer right now. What are we doing, bro? Woo, Tanjiro! Let's fucking let's do an airplane contest. Really? How many should we throw? Ten. They threw ten fucking airplanes. They counted from one to ten. I'm like, are you serious? You actually did ten airplane throws. <laughs> to pad the fucking time <laughs> of all the things we could do when, you know, hanging out with the Hashiras and understanding them. We were just throwing paper airplanes with Mu Muichiro, bro. What, what are we doing? What are we doing right now? Leveling. All right. <laughs> it's, they're, they're, they're all right. They're not yeah, they're bad. Right. They're, they're right. Yeah, you've seen it. You've seen yeah. them, right? They're, they're all right. They're not bad, but wow. they're, definitely, they're definitely not at that level of some of the mm. top action anime that we've seen and yeah. if it can't reach that level then unfortunately like... people are not going to care Fair as enough. much yeah 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 and that's what happens when you have so much you know value on production value animation quality movie tier fight scenes but i feel like solo leveling even if it can't reach that in the animation aspect the amount of buildup and the hype surrounding the fight right that lead up i think is better uh, unfortunately people are not going to care as much about it so Point is, yeah. Don't read solo leveling. <laughs> Go read Omniscient Reader's viewpoint. That's I'm 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 off the Giga bandwagoning. Giga bandwagoning, guys. Go over to you know Trash Taste highlights. Shout out, give him a like, give him some feel like. But uh, yeah, Giga say fuck solo leveling, bro. Omniscient Reader is where it's at, and hey, I gotta do a little bit of trend chasing as well, right? I'm very excited to see when Omniscient Reader is gonna drop. I will be there to cover it, and for sure. It's gonna be the solo leveling killer, guys, for sure.